What is the matrix control system? We see a portion of it in the areas of government, military, medicine, finance, media, education, academia, and religion. These institutions engineer our belief systems and way of life. Their hidden architects may include secret societies, elite bloodlines, corporate syndicates, international bankers, government think tanks, and black ops military networks. Some call this the shadow government, the Illuminati, or the New World Order. This social political machinery is what many consider to be the Matrix. But in reality, these things comprise only the outer aspect of the Matrix, the part easiest to see, study, and believe in. They are only the branches, whereas the roots extend deep into the occult, alien, and hyperdimensional realms. To transcend the Matrix, we must understand the parts of the control system that originate beyond the political level of the conspiracy, for they are the avenues through which an immense effort of spiritual warfare is being waged against us. These deeper components include, first, the central brain of the matrix control system, known by the ancients as the Demiurge. The Demiurge is said to be the soul of the universe. It is the all-pervading energy field that projects matter, energy, space, and time at the quantum level. The Demiurge is a non-physical artificial intelligence, that in its original and rightful form, fashion physicality according to the divine will. Except it has since broken away from the divine framework and become a parasite upon its own corner of creation, which is the universe we now find ourselves in. The Demiurge has shaped this universe into a cold, deterministic machine, a construct that perpetuates the illusion of linear time that grinds onward without regard for the consciousness of its inhabitants and that forces its subjects to live by the law of the jungle. These spiritually suffocating conditions are what allow the matrix control system to exist. They lead to a mode of living that favors serving self at the expense of others. What was supposed to have been a nurturing womb, a growth matrix for the evolution of consciousness through physical experience, has instead taken on overtones of a spiritual prison. The second component of the matrix includes all the non-physical beings that have taken after the demiurge. In a realm of limited resources, there will be those who have developed competition, predation, and survival to a high art. Such beings are spiritually dead and cut off from the divine. They look to the living, such as ourselves, for their source of energy and entertainment. The more powerful ones, whom the Gnostics termed Archons, may be viewed as the henchmen of the corrupt Demiurge. Here on Earth, they preside over a network of negative entities that farm us for our soul energy. This network includes demons, parasitic thought forms generated by human suffering and perversion, as well as ghosts working in the service of demons. They are all non-physical predators that roam around and instigate human suffering at every opportunity, mainly to feed off the soul energy released. They are energy feeders, mind manipulators, and tormentors that play us like fiddles if we are not aware. They can orchestrate misleading synchronicities, create accidents and freak illnesses, insert foreign thoughts and emotions into us during lowered states of consciousness, and they can induce schizoid symptoms in the vulnerable. The third component consists of alien collectives that have manipulated mankind in every way conceivable since the dawn of our species. They have shaped our genetics, history, beliefs, and want full control of our planetary destiny. Unlike demons, aliens are physical or quasi-physical beings who possess superior intelligence, psychic abilities, and technology. Within certain limits, their technology allows them to alter matter, energy, space, and time through the use of demiurgic energies. That is why aliens are architects of the matrix control system. The fourth component is our own biology, which is largely a product of alien genetic engineering over the eons. Our bodies have been designed so that our perception is limited to only the five physical senses, and so that our drives are primarily those of the body and ego. It takes nothing to perceive the physical world, and yet it takes everything to reach up and connect with the spiritual world. By default, the odds are already stacked in the control system's favor. We perceive just enough to graze around the cattle farm, but not so much that we easily find a way out. The fifth component consists of empty or programmed humans through whom aliens, demons, and thought forms can work. People who are not in conscious control of themselves are open to control by something else, whether momentarily or permanently. Almost everyone is susceptible to being momentarily influenced when not paying attention. This includes friends, family, neighbors, co-workers, politicians, authors, or celebrities. The ones who are completely empty or deeply programmed are permanent agents of the Matrix. 
They function as hired clappers for the control system, or as walking mouthpieces for the alien agenda, or they simply act as background characters that prop up the status quo. Together, these components create a framework of control that exists everywhere around us and within us at all times. What is the Matrix? It is the totality of forces and mechanisms that aim to keep us spiritually asleep.